<clears throat> we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rukai Kodash. Have honor to the apostles that rule well. Salutations so to the brothers of the four corners of the earth, which is the truth and sincerity. Uh, uh, Salakia, uh, I pushed enough videos out. I had a, a death in the family. Salakia, Salakia, uh, a good cousin of mine. Ah, uh, he's up there in the spirit world now. Now you know he's a Hebrew Israelite, right? All right, the name of this video is One Billion People at Risk of Power Blackouts as Global Grids uh, Stretched, right? So I'm going to read like a couple paragraphs, all right? And I know Yashirah's attention span is real low, right? I'm a, but this is a, a article to pick it back of the apostles been pushing and 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 elders been pushing right so this is the piggyback uh ride of what they was pushing out concerning this matter right they said this summer power grids worldwide were producing enough electricity to meet the soaring demand threatening more than one billion people with rolling blackouts grids are stretched thin by fossil fuels or shortage Drought and heat waves, commodity disruptions, and soaring prices due to war in Ukraine. And the fell green energy transition, where grid operators retired, uh, too many fossil uh, fuel ge generation plants. Combine this all together and perfect storm and a perfect storm of blackouts threatening much of the northern hemisphere. hemisphere. The power crisis affecting a large swath of the world and top economies could be less than a month away when summer begins at June 21st. Regions that concern Bloomberg are Asia, Europe, and, and the U.S., where there is not enough power to go around when cooling demands is set to surge as households crank up their AC, air condition to escape the, the sweltering heat. All right, many years and years of summertime in my lifetime, we ain't had no problem with grids, right? Maybe it happened a couple of times in New York, but it came back on the next following day. So why this is such a big deal? Because this is all done by, designed by the elites, right? The enlightened ones. All right, really, this probably is going back to uh, the MOTB, right? Hey, they might suggest like, hey, if you want uh, electricity, get your MOTB, right? Get it in your right hand or your forehead, okay? Because th this this dude is cunning, right? He's always devising an evil plan, always devising wickedness, man, even in the sleep, right? It said, uh. Asia heat waves has caused hours long uh, uh, daily blackouts, and they always test it out in other countries before they do uh, they do it in the United States. They always test this out in other countries, man. All right, so your brothers and sisters expect blackouts this summer. All right, uh, store a lot of water, store a lot of canned goods. If your brothers and sisters get generators, get that. Make sure you get a lot of candles. Right, baby wipes, right, and collect uh, trash bags too. Trash bags is very important to collect. Collect that. All right. Uh, make sure you have uh, lighters. Make sure you have your lighters, right, and uh, kerosene. Uh, kerosene is a good investment. Okay, because this devil is gonna come hard. Matter of fact, this is a particular scripture I like to read. All right, this is uh. Let me get that real quick. All right, let me get it. This is, uh, this is Revelation 12, 12. It says, it said, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwells in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. Yeah, he knows he has but a short time. That's why he's doing what he's doing, man. All right? And he was created to be the perfect devil. All right? So he has a sovereignty, he has a rulership because we broke the laws and statute commandments of the Heavenly Father. 
The Lord said, this is not our rest. We're not here to be comfortable. We're not here to get a college degree. We're not here to be, uh, to be promoted to be a VP, right? We're not here. We're here to serve a census, man. So with these blackouts that's going to occur this summer, man, kudos. Bring it, right? Let me finish reading this real quick. Let me jump down to this uh this part right here. It says uh, six Texas six Texas power plants fell earlier this month as the summer heat just began to arrive, offering a preview of what to come. At least a dozen U.S. states, from California to the Great Lakes, are at risk of electricity outage this summer. Power supplies will be tight in China and Japan. South Africa poised for a record year of power cuts, and Europe is in a precarious position that held that held up by Russia. If Moscow cut off natural gas to the region, that could trigger rolling outage in some countries. Right? I'm a uh, fast forward a little bit. All right, I'm going to go into the U.S. section, right? U.S. supplies of natural gas, the number one power plant fuel in the U.S., are constrained na nationwide, and prices are soaring. Power in much of the countries and, and part of Canada will be stretched, according to the North American Electricity uh, Re Re Reliability Corporation. It among though uh, the most dire assessment yet uh, for the regulatory body, consumers will be asked to step up to help keep the grid stable by uh, curtailing their consumption. Man, this is all set up by the elites, man. But scripture said, do not be ignorant of what? Of Satan devices, man. Do not be ignorant of Satan devices. So let's go to Second Ezra 16, 17 to 23. Yeah, brothers and sisters got the message about this is going to be a shortage of power this summer, right? All right. Second Ezra 16, 17 to 23. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? So that's Ezra, right? Ezra, Ezra, Ezra is a Levite priest. He's here today. And he understands reincarnation, uh, the regeneration of spirit. Prophets understand that. But these church coons, these ta wacky, tacky Christians don't understand reincarnation, right? There's nothing new under the sun. You was back then. We here now. The, the, the cycle uh, uh, regenerates every three or fourth generation. Right? It said the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginnings of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Because he's here right now. What shall I do when these evils come? He's asking the question. Right? Behold, famine and plague, tribulations and anguish are sent as a scourge for a mimic. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. And our people ain't going to turn away from the wickedness. They're going to keep doing what they're doing, man. They're going to smoke their blunt, smoke their cigarettes, their new ports. They're going to eat their pork. And man, I heard a little uh, five years old child begging, uh, crap meat from his mother. Mommy, mommy, I want some crab meat. The bitch said, damn, granny, you really spoiled you, didn't, he? didn't she? Wow. What happened to yo, son, crap meat is against the law. You're not supposed to be eating that. Right? They get it from their mama, man. They get it from that nigga fucking woman, man. Right? A five years old boy crying about, I want some crab meat. All right. 21, behold, victory shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. This, yeah, they got a dollar mill and McDonald's probably is, is, they probably got rid of it because everything is going up. Especially that war over there, uh, Russia against Ukraine. Right, a uh, price of wheat soared, a price of corn soared, and guess what? The price of cooking oil soared too. Too. So these commodities, uh, these things going up, what's going to happen to the food prices? Right? What's going to happen to the food prices? What about uh, trucks? Uh, uh, diesel went up. 
Some of these truck, trucks can't stay afloat when it comes to their budget. Right? Some of these trucks are going to have to be parked because the price of diesel is going up and, 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 and diesel is scarce right now. In certain states, it's scarce. Right? So when a truck when a, when the trucks can't deliver the, uh, their goods to these supermarkets and these other stores, what's going to happen to the people? Right? That's when that famine is going to kick in. That famine is going to kick in in full throttle, man. All right, that's why you got to have faith in your house, but shouldn't be a shot. And the scripture said the just should live by faith. And also the most high got a way where he could put in that penal gland for us not to be hungry. He could do that. He could lock something in our penal gland for not for us not to be hungry. Just the way the ravens deliver food to Eli uh, Elijah, right? And the most high directed uh uh elijah to the brook to get some water the most i could just turn something in that penal gland where we don't even be hungry or thirsty we don't even think about it why these two third niggas and these wacky tacky christians going crazy looking and scourging for food we're gonna be okay in our homes just chilling probably reading the scriptures praying to your house singing psalms right we're going to be so cool. The most I can put in that spirit to be, have a, a extra nonchalant spirit. When you look at the word nonchalant, it means to be cool. While these niggas out here going to be killing each other. He got a way of doing things, man. That's why he said, my ways is not your way. My thought is not your thought. I am what? I am higher than you. Right? So going back to this article right here. Uh, verse 20, 21. Behold, victory shall be. I read that already. 22. For many of them that dwells upon earth shall perish. There we go. That many that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Yeah, the sword going to destroy them. If they escape famine, the sword going to destroy them. It's going to be different militaries from different countries, man. That's going to be on U.S. soil. There's going to be checkpoints in different parts of the United States, man. Either you don't die by hunger, guess what? You're going to die by that sport. All right? And the dead shall be cast out as dumb. And there, that's right. Uh, when you see like Walking Dead, Fear, uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, I believe, our bodies are piled up, man. Right? Bio bodies are piled up. The, uh, there's, there's another one called the Crazies. Right? How the bodies are just piled up. Right? Uh, Resident Evil bodies are just piled up. That's what they're gonna do. It said the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no more to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. All right. This is a precept that I want to bring out. Brother Azar sent it, sent it to me the other morning. Hey, Tawada Azar, Tawada Tawada, beautiful precept. This is Psalm sixty nine through twelve. Who will bring into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will will that will not thou, O Yahweh, which has cast us off, and thou, O Yahweh, which didst not go out with our armies, give us help from trouble? What is said right here in verse eleven? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. That's right. It said, for vain is the help of man. Right? And the scripture said, whoever trusts in man, right, shall be a curse. Do not put your trust in princes, man, but put your trust in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Through, although Yahweh, through Yahweh, we shall be valiantly. For he it is that shall tread down out of our enemies. Is Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah is going to tread our enemies, man. So we got to have faith and trust in, in our true power. And the scripture said also, we're going to eat. We going to drink. We going to be okay, man. All right. So put your trust in your house, Bashem Yahu Shai, man. All right. So once again, uh, the name of this video: One billion people at risk of power, uh, power blackouts as global grids stretch. All right. So I hope, I hope this was edifying. So we give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahu Shai, Bashem Rakakudash, and death to America, man. Death to this wicked ass place and these bullamons and these body boys and all these fairies death to all of them and these heathens also shalom shalom